Polaris, Polaris. On today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. Let's see how long it takes to go up. Yes, it's a little slow. But at least it has an automatic limit when it's up and down. So you don't have to hold the button, you can put just a regular switch instead of momentary switch. About a minute and 15 seconds roughly. Top one fits perfectly. You have to push that bushing out so you can use the stock pin. Knock them bushings out of this end too. These little bushings, I don't know about the 1400 pound rating. And then it just won't fit that half inch pin. So you gotta drill it out. Half inch drill of course. Says indoor use only, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's a little slow. A little over a minute to dump. And the top one fits perfect. Now this end didn't exactly fit in between those two tabs. So with a little bit of manipulation, you can get it between that. You could spread those just a tad so you can fit the pin back in there. See, it will fit nice and tight. You have to take both your springs off. And then I drilled a little hole up there on both sides, tie wrapped it. So this handles up and it doesn't latch. Both sides the same. I suppose you could be fancy if you want to put an electric solenoid. And when you power it up, it would unlatch it. I thought about putting an extra power switch because I have it wired direct so that if you're driving and a kid touches it it won't get turned on by accident yeah it's a little slow but that's all right maybe I'll see if I can find something that's twice as fast but for like 40 something dollars better than the 300 and something they want for the dump kit and I think they're 30 45 seconds to lift so it's perfect when it comes down it pulls the bed down a little tiny bit and then stops on its limit. Okay. There's no play, no rattles. Perfect. Of course, I'm going to keep this gas charge shock just in case that breaks. We'll see how it works. We'll have to load that dump bed up and see what it'll lift. Let's tear this motor down. bow on my table a little bit I've already had this off that's not in bad shape so you think the crank is shot I know at least one of the connecting rods are shot nice thing is that the head and the jugs with the cylinders come off on these six head bolts Push rod engine, easy, easy repair. I gotta take those rockers off anyway. These have hydraulic lifters. 
put them in the order they came out. I don't think the push rods matter as much. You could do a rebuild on this so fast if it doesn't need anything on the bottom end. God, these Harbor Freight things, man. They're not loose like wizard sleeve, that's for sure. My big sledgehammer. Oh, yeah. gasket looked all right hmm. wonder where that water came from cylinders actually look really good crank there should be no play it's like less than one thousandth of an inch that's the noise and the cam lobes I guess they got a little wear <laughs> that don't look too good either so it needs a cam, and a connecting rod, and a crank assembly. Jeez, uh, wrist pins weren't bad at all. There's no play at all. And these connecting rods don't unbolt. So that basically means it's not going to be fixed. Because they want $1,000 for that complete rotating assembly. <clears throat> There's your hydraulic lifters, base gasket, of course someone put water in the system, like an idiot. It still has a chamfer on the rings. I think someone tried rebuilding the top end on this. Well that stinks boys, it's kind of what I thought it was. That's what happens when you don't maintain these things and let it run low on oil. And if you're wondering why this engine ran out of oil, somebody put this on and the gasket wasn't pushed on right and it was leaking. That's what I saw when I first bought it and it was idling. I suppose it probably would be worth just keeping an eye out for a connecting rod from somebody that tears one of these apart. Oh well, that's it. Moments later. We got it. Meow meow. What? What you got? You got a lizard. You got a lizard? Gizmo was over by me. So I had to go get him. Hit the corner on a tree. That's the tree right there that jumped out in front of me, boys. I think I'm going to cut that. Faux show. Gizmo. Of course, you know, he's got me all tore up. So now I'm going to have to get a bottle jack from there to here and try to press that forward. Nice job. Nice job. Gizmo. A few moments later. Oh, look at that. I straightened that right out. Know, it's still... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty much almost perfect. This bar was bent way down, except I got a little kink right there. But they line up the front. The top is squared with the other side. And even the back is square. 
I can't believe I got it. That thing was racked hard. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.